Hello Year 4. Um, so um, it's time to start our ukulele lessons again. I'm very excited to be able to do that. Um, I can't be there in the classroom with you right now. Uh, hopefully that will change uh, in a few weeks time. But for now we can do our lessons like this. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, now, sometimes um, throughout this video, I will suggest uh, to the teacher that they pause the video to give you a little extra time to do whatever it is I'm asking you to do. Um, and if at any time you get a little bit muddled or confused and you're not really sure about anything, you can ask. Anyone can just ask in the normal way, put your hand up and ask uh, for a pause so that you can um, hopefully sort things out, possibly even rewind and, and, and listen again to uh, whatever it is I'm asking you to do. So. Your ukulele should be on the table in front of you, still in its case, the way we always started last year and the way we will always start this year. So in a moment, when I give the instruction, I'm going to ask you to open up the zip. I hope there hasn't been any sneaky peeking before now. I'm going to ask you to open up the zip and slide the ukulele out nice and carefully uh, and place it back on top of the case. OK, so do that now. So this is the time when you go, oh yeah, I've got a blue one, oh no, I've got a red one, or whatever it is. Yeah, you know, you know the story. No swaps, just take the one that you've got and that's fine. Okay, so um, in a moment we're going to pick up the ukulele, but again, wait until I tell you exactly what to do. I want to make sure that everyone has it the right way around. Some people get a little bit confused. So I'm going to show you what it should look like and you look at me as if I'm, I'm a mirror, okay? So... You're going to uh, reach out with your left hand and pick up the ukulele by the neck. This is mine. And turn it around so it's in front of you like this, facing this way. Okay? So your right hand is going to be playing the strings. Your left hand is going to be pressing down. Okay? Now, I'm a little bit back to front. Uh, that's my demonstration, so I hold it this way. But you keep it that way. Okay? The head at that side, the body at that side. Got it? Good. Okay, so... Who can remember the names of the open strings? Open strings is when you play a string without pressing any fingers down. We've got our four strings. So remember our little sentence. What was our sentence? Good children eat apples. Okay, so let's do that again. Good children eat apples. One more time. Good children eat apples. Let's go back to front. Apples eat children good. Okay, now I'm going to try something a little new with you today. On the first two, on G and C, you're going to play it with your thumb. I'll give you a little close up like that. So your thumb playing downwards. G, C. Just do that for me. G, C. One more time. G, C. Now for E and A, the other two strings, we're going to use our index finger like this. So I'm pointing straight down at the floor and I'm pulling upwards. E, A. Like that. E, A. One more time. E, A. So now we're going to do all four. First two, G and C, with your thumb and then the E and the A with your index finger. Like this. G, C, E, A. Let's do it again. Let's put a little rhythm in it. You remember the cup of tea rhythm? It goes cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea. Do it again. Cup of tea, cup of tea. Index finger, cup of tea, cup of tea. Very good. Okay. So let's try that with our favourite rhythm, the chicken and chips one. All right. And again, thumb on the G and the C. Index on the E and the A. Ready, go! Chicken and chips, chicken and chips, chicken and chips, chicken and again, go! One more time. And relax. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to start off this term uh, with a tune which uses uh, the same notes that you used when you learned Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, and so I'll play it to you now, I'm sure you'll recognise it, and then we'll start to learn it. Okay, here we go. London 
bridge is falling down. I'm sure you all know that one. Okay, so when we're playing this, we're going to be doing that technique that we've just been doing. Our thumb is going to play when it's on the G string or the C string, our index finger when it's on the E string or the A string. So for this tune, you need all four open strings, G, C, A, and E, and we need two other notes. And these notes are F. Now, there's F there. I can just show you that. It's your finger one, your index finger, and it's on the E string on fret one. So you should have two colored stickers, a yellow and a green one together, and you press down at the tip of your finger, nice and strong, like that. Your thumb, if I can show you without breaking my own wrist, your thumb should be on the back of the ukulele neck, like that. And that is F. So let's just play F, index finger, remember? Just play me a few more Fs. We all right, we got that? Okay, so that is F. The other note we need is a D. Can anyone remember D? There it is. So this time it's finger two, finger two, that one, middle finger, and it's on the C string on fret two. So you've got a single green sticker there, boom, like that, okay? Same thing, tip of your finger pressing straight down into the neck, pressing the string down, holding it nice and firmly, that is a D. So we're gonna play that with your thumb. So let's go through all the notes you need. You need a G, you need C, you need the D, that's the last one we just did. Green dot on the C string fret two. We're going to need E. Remember you're playing with your index finger. And then F, same string, fret one. And we need A. Okay, so let's begin. It starts like this. So we've got the open string G with your thumb, the open string A with your index finger, and then G again with your thumb. Okay, let's just do that a few more times. So the A is a shorter note, like that. So you go thumb, like that. One more time. Got that? Good. Okay, so then we do this. So it's all on the E string with the second one from the floor. And you start with the note F with your finger on. And then you take it off to play the E and you put it back on. Yeah? F, E, F. And that's followed by another G played with your thumb. F, E, F. F, G. One more time. F, E, F, G. Now let's do it from the beginning. Here we go. Ready, steady, go. G, A, G, F, E, F, G. Let's do it again. I'll go a little bit more slowly this time. Ready, steady, go. G, A, G, F, E, F, G. Okay, so I'm going to suggest a little pause uh, so that you can practice that opening phrase. Okay, so pause it now. Right, are we back? Let's go through it together. Ready, steady, go. Got it? Good. Then, the first time in the tune we play a D, remember what D looks like? There, green dot, finger two. C string fret two, and we go like this, D, E, F. Now we've just been playing E's and F's, so you know what they are. I don't even need to remind you, do I? D, E, F, do it again. D, E, F, got it? Okay, we're gonna add the next bit before we do the whole thing. It goes E, F, so that's E and F once more. You're very familiar with these two notes now, aren't you? E, F, and then G, the open string with your thumb. Okay, one more time, E, F, G, go. E, F, G. So 
We're going to put those two bits together like this. I'll show you first. D, E, F, D, F, G. Ready? Start with a D and go. Got it? Let's try it from the start. I'll show you first. G, A, G, F, E, F, G, D, E, F, E, F, G. Let's try it together. A little slower than that, I think. Ready, steady, go. G, A, G, F, E, F, G, D next. D, E, F, G, E, F, G. Now, the next bit is exactly the same as the start. G, A, G, F, E, F, G. So you know that already. And then there's the final bit, which goes D, G. So I'm still using a thumb for those two strings. D, remember what D is? Just there. Yep. D, G. And then it finishes E, C, open strings, A, E, index finger, C, thumb, D, G, E, C. So the end is kind of easy, yeah? So I'm going to do the whole thing nice and slow. Join in if you can. Ready? Steady, go. G, A, G, F. Go London Bridge is falling down. So, um, next time I see you, uh, well, hopefully uh, I, I get to see you, but possibly I'll have to do another video uh, before I actually see you properly. Um, we'll do some chords, okay? So uh, you remember the chords uh, we, that, that we knew last time. We had our C on the red sticker, our A minor, single yellow one, F, both of the yellow ones and G7 with all three green ones. We'll be looking at those again next time round, okay? But let's just play through London Bridge is falling down one more time before we finish. You ready? We'll go full speed this time, see if you can keep up. Ready? One, two, three, four. Until the next time, bye-bye.